Hey guys, uh, we're just about to head out thrifting. We've just finished our long day at our normal job. Um, it's Thursday before at the Easter long weekend, so usually we'd head to say it was on a Friday, but it's actually closed tomorrow. So we're gonna head there now and see what we can find. In other news, apparently we're going to Vers, not Savers, just Vers. What do you found? But, but, but. Wow. Oh, that's not good. And look. Look at his friends. Hmm. Do any of you guys need a Bunnings hat? Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Two Aussie Thrifters. Uh, last night we went to Savers. Um, it was Thursday before Easter, so. Uh, we wanted to get in before the public holidays and nothing was open. So we've got 18 items here. Uh, I think we paid about $160, so just under $10 an item. Um, we've got some pretty nice stuff here, um, so I can show you what we got. Uh, first item we got, we got two of these introduction, introduction to culture and media studies. Um, these, these we find pretty regularly and we sort of sell them for about $37.95. So, we paid $4.99 each on those, and we did our 10% off as well, so probably about $4.50 each. Um, shipped them in a 500 gram a satchel with nice bubble wrap on it, so we should make a good $15 to $20 on those. Uh, Jazzy picked up this Make the Grade. Um, it's another book, um, a guide to successful communication and study. Um, so comps on that one, we're looking at about $35. Um, $4.99 for that one as well, so we should make a, a good 20 bucks on that one as well. Good condition, no sort of highlights or anything like that in it. Um, so that'll be a nice little flip. I got this pair of um, Riker. Um, they're like a leather sort of insulated boot. Um, I just, I like the look of them and I, I didn't know the brand um, before looking them up, but I should be able to get over 50 bucks for these. Um, they're sold in good condition. Um, there's no sort of scrapes or marks they're quite a nice um pair of shoes um so they're a european 37 so once i do a bit more research take some really good photos um we should get 50 on those pretty easily um i think how much do i pay for those i paid um 20 dollars for those so after after shipping in that we should make 15 um, maybe 20 dollars if we can get over that 50 dollar mark um, i just picked them up because they're really good condition um, so hopefully we can get over 50 and make some good profit on those. We've got these pair of Iron Williams um, Cuban heel um, boots. So these, these have some elastic damage. So the elastic's sort of been stretched on them. Um, we paid $16.99. They have been resold as well. Um, however, I had a pair very similar to this condition um, not too long ago and I ended up selling for $90 even with the even with the damage to the elastic So we just make sure that we list that um, some people get these re um, Redone put new elastic in there um, because they're a good quality boot um, Give them a bit of a clean up the toes got a few little scratch marks on them um, But I reckon I should get 80 to 90 on those as well um, So don't be scared if you do find Aaron Williams with that elastic damage um, to pick them up if they're the right price um, because you can still get some really good money on those. Um, so we'll list them up um, and just disclose that that elastic is stretched and yeah, hopefully we'll get a good return on those. Um, they're a women's about five, so they are they are a bit smaller, um, but I reckon we'll still make some good money on those. So that was a good little find. We also got this G-Star um, pants. Uh, they're like G-Star Raw. Um, they got the tags, they're like sort of like a, a chino pant almost, but they're um, sort of like a corduroy. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, so with G-Star, you really want to be looking for that um, 
booklet style sort of tag. So it's got multiple tags there. Um, it'll have the size, um, it should even have the style on there. Um, so you should be able to tell what they are pretty easily. So these ones here are Diddly 3D Chino Loose Tapered Pants. Um, so we paid $16.99 for those, um, but with the tags on them, I reckon we should get over about maybe $69, maybe $79. Um, so that was a good find for $16. Um, so we should make you know good $30 profit on those after all fees and shipping. Jazzy found this um, reflection 3D, an exciting puzzle game for one or two players. It's so it's sealed, um, and I believe it was from 1991 or something like that. So it's been around for a while. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, we haven't really found a comp sealed. There was some up that were um, opened um, for about $30. Um, so maybe we'll shoot for about 50 on that, um, and we'll just see what happens. Um, it's pretty cool to find an older game like that sealed still. So. And um, there might be a collector out there that really wants that one. I found this pair of diesel. Um, these are a men's cardio, um, size 34, 34. So with the diesel, you really want to be looking out for that um, telltale tag and that it's got that silver on the bottom there. Um, that sort of indicates that it's um, a genuine item. I only paid $9.99 for this one, which is... Um, which is unusual for diesel. We usually have to pay up for diesel, so um, I was pretty happy when I saw those. They're just like a straight leg. Um, we'll probably shoot for about 50 bucks on those, maybe a little bit more. Um, we, we get sort of good return on diesel. We do free shipping on everything, so we should make $20, $25 on that one after all fees um, and shipping costs, so that was a nice little pickup. I also got this pair of uh, Nudie. Um, they were a nice price as well. So they were $9.99 um, before our discount. And I believe they were Slim Jim. Yeah, um, so they're, they're a nice pair. We don't often see them for that price. So um, we'll keep an eye out for Nudie because we should be able to get sort of you know, 40 to 50 on these. Um, sometimes a little bit more depending on the style. So we'll just look up comps on that and see that particular style. But if we see Nudie, um, we usually jump on them straight away, and especially at, at 10 bucks. Usually, when we see them, they're at sort of 15 to 20. So if we can get them at 10, um, we know we're going to make some good profit on those. Uh, the next item I got were this pair of Carhartt. They're just like a chino um, green pant. Um, they they have the style on these as well. So these are called Prime Pant. Um, so when I was in the store, I had a look at comps. Um, and I should be looking at around $50 on those, so um, I picked those up for about $10, um, so that'll be a good $25 profit on those as well. Um, Carhartt's a good brand, so keep an eye out for that logo. Um, yeah, they sell quite quickly. Um, these are the workwear style, so yeah, hopefully 50 on those. Uh, the next item I got is probably the best item we found. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to make it out because it's tagged in the way. What is Burberry? There you go, Burberry London. Um, it's a size medium, um, good quality long sleeve shirt. Um, it had all the buttons, it's got Burberry on all the buttons. Um, I haven't looked up comps, but we've sold Burberry long sleeve shirts for $79.89 before, so um, this is a little bit thicker material, so we'll probably shoot for the same sort of price, and I reckon we'll get that on that. I uh, paid $13, so I'll make a good $30 to $40 on that after everything's said and done. The next three items, um, I reckon the same person probably donated these because they're all Ted Baker um, polo shirts, and I believe they're all size 3. So we did pay a little bit more than I usually like to pay on Ted Baker, so we paid about $9, $10 each. Um, but we should get about 30 bucks on each shirt. I might even lot them um, and just see if I can get, you know, 90 and save a bit on shipping. Um, so that's a size, I don't want size 5, so that one's a little bit bigger. And that's a size 5 as well. So there's two size 5s and a size 3. Um, so they, they're like a European sizing, I believe. So um, we can convert that across. But most people know their size in Ted Baker because it's a brand that they buy regularly. Um, so that one we paid 12 on um, less discount, so probably about 11 
Um, so probably probably a ten dollar average price on those. So if I list them at thirty, um, postage will be seven fifty five. We pay about I don't know four dollars in fees. So we should make sort of ten or eleven dollars a piece, um, which is okay because um, they'll turn quite quickly. Uh, the last thing that I bought for the store were these pair of Keens. Um, they're like a hiking boot. They are a size 10, so I believe that might be a men's size 10. Um, they did have one little issue on this shoe. Um, so one of the loops had come loose, um, but it's not too bad because I reckon you could probably get that stitched up pretty, pretty easily. Um, the rest of the boots are in really good condition, so um, if we just disclose that, I reckon we'll still get upwards of $50 on these. Um, pay about 12 bucks. Um, so that was a good little find. Um, keep an eye out for that Keen logo. Um, they're a good quality shoe, quality hiking boot. I believe these are the waterproof ones as well. Yeah, so um, we'll shoot for 50 on those and just disclose that one of the loops has um, come loose. That shouldn't be too hard to fix. Um, or you can even skip it and go straight to that next one. So um, that'll be a good little return. Um, we always keep an eye out for Keen, especially if they're in good condition. Um, these are quite expensive new, so keep an eye out for Keen. The last item I got, um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep this for myself or if I'm going to pop it up online. So these are blood on the dance floor. So I picked it up because I thought the graphic was just super crazy. Um, and when I was talking to the girl at the counter, she was telling us about this band. Apparently this is a, like a, what they call a scene band. So they have like emo and scene is like another sort of um, niche in that area, I suppose. And she was saying that this band is probably like one of the best known in that sort of group. Um, so she was pretty pretty happy that I'd found this. Um, and she gave me a little bit of education on it as well. So um, super cool. It's got Gingerbread Man on there. Eight ounces of vanilla icing. Um, so that's, that's pretty unique. Um, it's my size, so I might keep it. But I'll have a look at comps. There was another one, not the same as this, but up for about 30 bucks. So it'll be interesting to see what I can get out of that if I do put it up. But I might keep it and wear it in a video. We'll see. Um, so that's pretty much all we picked up last night. So we just did a quick, quick run through of savers. Um, grab whatever we could. We thought being a Thursday would try it out. We hadn't been on a Thursday night before. And yeah, we found some pretty good items. There's a few people in there. I've got a little bit of footage for you guys. So um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you subscribe to our channel and also like um, our videos um, just so our videos get a bit of a bump up and it's really good to see that interaction. Uh, leave some comments for us. Um, we really enjoy um, talking to you guys and, and you know, you asking us questions and us responding. So make sure you do that and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys.